Hi there, everyone. Continuing along with our series of what's new in Harmony 11. Um, this time, this week, I want to talk to you guys about merging artwork. And there are a couple of different types of artwork that you can merge together. You can merge together an entire layer, or you can merge together selected drawings. So let's take a look at how to do this now. I'll just take a very simple drawing layer, and I will draw, do drawing one, two, and three and I will extend these guys out. Okay, so now um, when I want to merge together two drawing layers, I should, or two drawings, I should obviously have two different drawing layers, so I'll just create another drawing and we'll talk about the simple case of when they're both uh, vector uh, first to begin with. So let's do drawing A, but I'm going to do the timing slightly different here and I'll just do A and B like that. Fill those holes there. So now if we take a look at it, I've got um, one, two, and three, and then I've got slightly different timing for A and B. So if I take these drawing layers, I can either merge the entire layer together. So if that, in that case, I can select the two layers. Um, I can right click on there and then I can merge selected layers. And you see when you do that, what it does is it deletes the original layer and then I just get one layer that has the combined drawings in it. And so you see that the timing has kind of been uh, baked down in a way so that I have enough drawings to get what I wanted to have before. So you see where I had the overlap there on the merge drawing creates a new drawing. So I ended up with four drawings in fact instead of three. Um, so we had to do it this way because if the timing is different then you need to make sure that you can still have the same result and so that's the way the timing works. I can also select an individual image by the way and I can right click on there and then go drawing merge selected drawings and then when I merge those drawings together it always merges down so it merges down onto the bottom layer on your timeline and so I now have the resultant drawing there and I don't see the original in this layer anymore. So when we're looking at working with vector layers it's pretty easy everything just becomes vector. As soon as you add bitmap layers into the mix um, then things become slightly different so let's take a look at that. So I'll do just a kind of a bitmap stroke on the side of the bitmap layer there. So I'll just extend the exposure of this bitmap drawing out. I only really need one drawing to show the to show the concept of the merge um, so I'll just leave it as one drawing for that. So when I merge the layers, if I merge all of the layers down, keep in mind that it always merges down to the bottom. So if the vector layer is underneath, it's going to copy the bitmap content into the vector layer. So let's take a look at that. I'll right click on the layers and merge selected layer. And so then it, it's going to tell me that it's going to merge and convert the bitmap into a vector layer. And so if you do convert it, then what you get is a vectorization options. And so you can choose whether you want to um, vectorize in black and white or gray, or if you set up your own custom resolution, you can also set up your own custom resolution there as well. So I'll just go with gray to leave it pretty similar. And then um, I see the result here that the bitmap layer has been converted into a vector stroke that um, has all of these points on it so that I can go in there and I can sort of manipulate and move around uh, this stroke and I can now even go in here and apply like a vector color to it. So it's definitely become a bitmap within a vector structure. Um, so just keep in mind that when you do that it is slightly destructive in the sense that you won't be able to go back again to um, having all of the layers separate. So if you're going to be doing a lot of merging layers and you're worried about the outcome, then it's a good idea to copy your layers, duplicate your layers ahead of time, make a little template out of them or whatever, just to make sure that you can go back if you need to go back. Um, it's the same as, for example, when you're merging in Photoshop. Once you do that merge, you can't go back again to having the layers separated out. So sometimes before you do a merge, you might want to just copy the layers or, you know, it just depends on what you're doing. Let's change this example up. Let's bring the bitmap to the bottom. So now if the bitmap is underneath, remember we're always merging down. So now it's if I merge selected layers, it says it's going to merge all of those layers now and convert them to bitmap. So if I select convert, 
then I have the opposite result where um, I get my resultant uh, layers here. But if you do zoom in far enough, you will see that they are bitmap strokes that actually do have pixels defining them. So, so you see now that it's been merged into bitmap, I can use my bitmap tools on this layer and I can really sort of merge them together again. But I wouldn't be able to go back and select the individual strokes because it's all bitmap. So if I need to select a piece of it, I would have to come in here and use my cutter tool. And if I have overlapping bits, then it's going to be hard for me to go back and select the individual drawing again. So it's pretty it, it's pretty sensical. I mean, it does what you would think it should do. When you merge, it's going to merge either to a bitmap or to a vector. It's like when you rasterize something from in Photoshop. So um, you just have to keep in mind ahead of time the order of the layers and, and what it is that you want to do. So keep in mind it always merges down and it's going to merge down into the destination layer on the bottom with the type. And so if you want to change the type of the layer on the bottom, you can always create an empty layer on the bottom and just you know make sure that the type is the correct type that you want and merge all the layers down into that type. Um, of course, if all the, the source layers are all bitmap and all the source layers, layers are all vector and you're just trying to sort of merge them together, then you wouldn't have that additional step. So hopefully that makes it clear for merging drawings and um, I hope you guys uh, use that and that it works out quite well for you. See you next time.